Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solution Specialist for Avid. With the version 1.2 software update for S6, we've added several key features that our users have been asking for. In this video, we will look at the new functionality of layouts. Layouts let you create a specific view of tracks on the surface that can be in any order, multiple views of the same track, and mix and match tracks from different workstations connected, even from different DAWs. Layouts are in a single zone that consists of all of the channels on your surface. When in layouts mode, regular banking is not available and you are not able to bank within a layout. The first thing we will go over is how to create a layout. To put the surface into layout mode, make sure you're in tracks view, then press the layout mode switch. If you've not yet created or loaded any layouts, the surface will be blank. If you have previously created layouts, the surface will populate with the last selected layout. To create a layout, press the assign switch in the bottom left corner of the touchscreen. You will now have a menu of layout commands. From this screen, you can now select tracks from the tracks view to populate the layout. When selecting tracks, know that the order that you select the tracks in will be the order that they will appear in the layout. At the bottom of the screen, you will see that the track scroller is blank with numbered slots. Once you have the track selected that you want in the layout, choose a slot that you want your track selection to start at. This will place these tracks in the order that they were selected left to right. If you'd like to leave a blank channel between particular tracks, select tracks up to the point you want to create the blank channel and drop them into the track scroller. Now, select the tracks you want after the blank channel and drop them into the track scroller after the blank position. If you want to have multiple views of a particular channel, select the channel, then drop it into the track scroller. Select the channel again and drop it into the track scroller. Repeat this process until you have the desired number of views. There are also clear and clear all switches on the touchscreen. Pressing the clear switch, then selecting channels from the track scroller will clear out individual tracks. If you want to clear out all of the tracks in a layout, press the clear all switch. Once you have the layout set the way you want, you will need to store it. There are 96 layout slots per title. To store a layout, press the store switch at the bottom of the touchscreen. This will bring up the store layouts matrix. Select a blank slot and a number will appear and the slot will be highlighted. To name the layout, double tap the field next to the layout name dialog. This will bring up the on-screen keyboard to name the layout. You can also use a connected USB keyboard as well. Press the return key to commit the name. Pressing done will take you back to the main layouts page. To recall a layout, press the recall switch to bring up the recall layout matrix. You can select the layout to recall, then press done at the bottom of the screen to exit out of the recall page. To edit, move, or delete a layout, press the edit switch at the bottom of the screen. From here, you can rename a layout by selecting it and double tapping on the field next to the layout name dialog. To move a layout to a different slot, press and hold the layout cell and drag it to another location. To delete a layout, press and hold a layout cell and drag it off the layout matrix. Press the layout mode switch to exit out of layouts. Layouts are not stored with your DAW session document at this time, so you will need to save and load layout titles. To save a layout title, press the save switch at the bottom of the touchscreen. This will bring up a file dialog box that will allow you to save the title to the internal S6 hard drive or to an external drive, such as a network connected drive or USB flash drive. To load a layout title, press the load switch at the bottom of the touchscreen and navigate to your titles folder. Select the correct title, then press open. S6 lets the user not only create custom layout views from one workstation, but you can also create a layout from any connected workstation. You can even mix and match tracks from different DAWs. To create a layout from different connected workstations, press the WS switch in the master module navigation switch area and select the first workstation you want to get tracks from. Go into layouts, then assign mode. Select the tracks you want in the layout, then drop them into the correct position on the track scroller. Next, press the WS switch again and select the next workstation you want tracks from. Then, press the track switch in the master module navigation switch area and then select Assign. 
Select the tracks you want from this workstation and drop them into the track scroller where you want them. Repeat the process until the desired layout is created. You will need to save and load these titles the same as layouts for a single workstation. Layouts are a powerful new feature of S6 that allow the user to create custom track views of a connected workstation. Not only that, but you can create custom views from multiple workstations at once, even from different DAWs. Having these custom views can make you more efficient and speed up your mixing workflows. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.